In this next video, we are going to take a look at editing these parcels. Now I've gone ahead and I've finished most of the subdivision. I've just put them in with the, the slide line create tools. And as we see around the cul-de-sac here, lot 65 and 60, they're, they're over 400 square meters. But as soon as we get to 66 and 68, they're less than 400 square meters. And because we're losing quite a bit of area due to the cul-de-sac shape, we should make these a little bit wider. And then these three lots at the end are just, in my opinion, goofy looking. They're, they're quite large and, <clears throat> and weirdly shaped. So we need to adjust those. So under the parcel drop down, I'm gonna create a parcel by layout. However, I'm gonna to go to slide line edit. I'm gonna click okay. And Civil 3D asks me to select the adjusted lot line to attach. So I want to adjust this lot line. And then I want to adjust this parcel. That's what Civil 3D asks. My start point of my frontage is here and I'm gonna go around the corner a little bit. Now, I'm gonna play with the minimum widths here. So I'm gonna type in 13 and 13. And I'll hit enter once. And we'll see what Civil 3D has done. So if we try 14, we can see that it, that actually moves a little bit. So let's go with 14 and see what that gives us. So that gives us a 428 square meter lot. Likewise, the one on this side as well. And I want to adjust this parcel. My front is from here to here. And it keeps the same options, 14 and 14. So I'll accept that as well. Now these four lots around the end, this one's 650 square meters, this one's 860, this one's over 900, this one's 647. Generally around the end of a cul-de-sac, the lots are larger because they lose a lot of space at the road. So your lot will be less than 11 meters wide at the road, but you get a bigger, much bigger backyard. So there's another way of, of adjusting these. If you select the lot lines, as long as you've used the automatic creation tools, you'll get a diamond shaped grip here that will slide along the frontage. So I'm gonna grab this grip and I'm gonna move it to the left just a little bit and I'll watch what happens. Okay, this lot's now 760 square meters. I'm gonna grab this one a little bit and shift it to the left. We have 730, 789, grab this one, swing it a little bit. and see, see kind of what we're getting for sizes here. So you can shift them back and forth a little bit. You can use the automatic tools. You can go under the sideline edit and just see what kind of options that gives you. Now, say you've used a slide line and swing line create tools and what Civil 3D is giving you just does not work for you. It, you don't like the, the objects that it's giving you. We can create parcels with polylines as long as everything is completely closed. So I'm just gonna draw a couple polylines here and I will trim these off. We cannot have these overlapping. We cannot have them extending, etc. So I'll just do that. I'm gonna trim. And then I'm gonna come under the parcels, create parcels from objects. And I'm going to select these five polylines that I've drawn. And I'll hit OK. So we can create parcels from polylines as well. We have the larger section and we've taken and drawn a smaller section. Just turn those objects into parcels. Now, if we click on this parcel line, instead of the diamond shaped grip that will only slide along the edge, we have two square grips that we can adjust anywhere we want. So we can move these as needed. And we can edit parcels this way. So that was just a quick video on the parcel editing and taking a look at the options. Another handy thing I like to do is just add single segment labels as needed just to see kind of what I'm given. Because I, in my opinion, never trust Civil 3D to do what, exactly what you want it to do. So just check your work, put, put in some labels and see that what it's given you is what you actually want.